Welcome to the spoken tutorial on CTC counter. In this tutorial, we will learn about working of count circular counter. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 18.04 operating system, LD Micro, Open PLC main board, 24 volt 2 ampere SMPS, USB ASP programmer, traffic light module, and switchboard module. To follow this tutorial, you should know the working of CTU and CTD counters. If not, please refer to the relevant tutorials in this series on this website. Connect SMPS and USB ASP to the main board. As shown in the picture. Keep these connections throughout this tutorial. Let us open LD Micro. In this tutorial, we will create a ladder logic to turn on an LED. The condition is when the switch is pressed for exactly three times. Insert a contact and then rename it as switch as shown. We will now insert a CTC to the right of X switch. For that, place the cursor to the right of X switch. Click on instructions, then counters and then on insert CTC. Double click on the CTC. We can observe there are two columns. First one is for the name of the counter. Type count in it. Second column is the max value, that is, maximum value of the counter. Here, we have to enter the desired count value. We will enter 3 as the count value. Click on the OK button. Note that the name is prefixed by C by default. Now, insert a rung below. Insert equals compare instruction in the new rung as shown. Place the cursor to the right of EQU and insert a coil. In the compare instruction, compare C count with 3. That is, in the closed if column, type C count and in the equals column, type 3. Rename the coil as LED. We will now check the working of this logic. Let us turn on the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then non simulation mode. Next, start real time simulation as shown. Initially, the state of X switch, Y LED and C count are 0. Change the state of X switch to 1 by double clicking on it. We can observe the C count value changes to 1. Change the state of X switch back to 0. Just like CTU and CTD, the C count value updates only with the raising edge of its input. Keep double clicking on X switch until the state of C count reaches 3. We can observe the state of Y LED changes to 1. Once again, Change the state of X switch from 0 to 1. We can observe the C count value goes back to 0. That is, there is no need of reset instruction to reset the counter. Now, turn off the simulation mode. For that, click simulate and then on halt simulation. Then click simulate and simulation mode. Now, let us compile the logic. The detailed steps on how to compile and save the logic are explained in the earlier tutorials. Click on settings and select the microcontroller AVR Atmega 16 40 PDIP. Adjust its parameters as shown here. Assign Pin PC0 to X switch. 
and PA0 to Y LED. Compile the logic as ctc.hex. Save the file as ctc.ld. We will now see the working of this logic on hardware. Connect the mainboard to your laptop using USB ASP. Turn on the power supply. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus T key simultaneously. Go to the folder where you have saved the hex file. Type the command as shown to upload the hex file to the mainboard. Turn off the power supply. Remove the USB ASP connection from the laptop. This will prevent any hardware damage. Let us see the connection details now. Connect ground pin of the red LED of traffic light module to ground of the main board. Then connect plus 5 volt pin of the red LED to PAO0 pin of the main board. Connect ground and 5 volts of switchboard to ground and 5 volts of the main board respectively. Then connect NO1 of the switchboard to PC0 of the main board. Make the connections as shown in the picture. After making all the connections properly, turn on the power supply. Initially, the red LED will not glow. It will glow only when NO1 is pressed for 3 times. So, press the switch NO1 for 3 times. We can see the LED will be glowing even after the NO1 is released. Press the switch NO1 for one more time. We can observe the LED goes off. Recall that it was not the case with CTU. That is, CTC counter resets automatically after reaching the desired count value. Thus, the difference between CTU and CTC is auto reset. Turn off the power supply. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about working of count circular counter. As an assignment, do the following. Draw a ladder logic where the state of LED depends on switch press count. That is, when count is equal to 0, LED should reset. Count is equal to 1, LED should start blinking. Count is equals to 2, the LED should be set. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials and gives certificates on passing online tests. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on Open PLC? Please visit the FOSI forum and post your question. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSI and Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. And this is Harsha Priyanka from FOSI team signing off. Thanks for watching.